What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Blade & Soul and we're going to talk about the news of Blade & Soul. On March 12th, the Purple Launcher will launch and uh, this will come with multiple features we have never had in our launcher and it's going to be quite similar to what Discord can do for us. I'll talk about it a little bit more later. First things first, a quality of life update we'll get is remember login options. So now uh, with NC Launcher 2, we can remember ourselves when we log in and we take the remember me uh, uh, tick box. It will remember your email or your login name, but it will not remember your password. So you have to retype your password every single time you want to log in, which is slightly inconvenient to be fair but now with purple we will be getting the quality of life update that we will be able to actually save our actual login so we can just toggle uh, which account we want to log in with and then we can just log in without having to retype our password which is so much nicer it's such a small thing but over time it can get annoying that you will have to retype your password especially when you crash in game and you need to log in immediately because you were doing a raid or something or your dungeon you know you have very little time to log in and for some people the game takes a long time to launch before they can actually play that's the quality of life update i stand behind it can save up to a maximum of 10 accounts so if you have 10 accounts or multiple people playing on the same pc you can save 10 accounts maximum the purple launcher will also have a maintenance countdown so now you can see on the uh, launch itself when the time will be for your game to be in maintenance. I think all games have the same maintenance time, so it's gonna be the same for all of them. If I'm correct, I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But yeah, that's actually a nice feature, because right now we get notifications in-game like saying half an hour before and a few minutes before maintenance that we should uh, had, uh, get out of the game immediately or as, as soon as we possibly can because maybe it's going to happen and now this will make it a little bit easier for us adding to that if you have purple on your phone as well purple mobile i think they call that then you will be able to get a notification through the app on your phone to see when the maintenance is done so if you want to immediately start gaming again you get notification on your phone and can, can start playing again which is a nice quality of life feature as well Purple will also have a lounge. So in this lounge you will have a daily hub of game news and announcements, uh, event info and game webtoons and more stuff. I don't know what more will be but that's what I said on the site. And that can be quite interesting and actually very nice to have. Everything is going to be concise and uh, put together. I don't know if concise is actually the right word for that, but it's going to be put together so it's a little bit easier for you to find everything you need to find. For example, event info, I love seeing that immediately in the launcher instead of go having to go to the website and actually read it. It's not that big of a deal, but still it's a quality of life update for especially those casual players. Because they will not go to the website and read it, you know? But now we get that, so a nice quality of life update as well. Adding to that, we also get purple talk which will be the chat, stream and voice chat service you get on desktop and mobile devices. So you will have a purple profile and that is going to be uh, linked to your main account but you also have a game profile which is going to be linked to your characters, uh, game characters. Uh, with that you can uh, search through your list of contacts you have and connect to them or something like that at least. Through game profile I understand it through purple profile i'm not really sure whether you can add one another or not i think you can this hasn't been confirmed or refuted but i guess you can add one another with that so if you want to just have a chat or voice call or stream with people from the specific game and that are connected with your specific character then you can use your game character's uh, profile and otherwise if you want to connect with everyone through multiple games then you can use your purple profile to start chatting uh, voice chatting and streaming now to the part where it looks to want to be a lot like discord the first things first chat rooms chat rooms are very basic just a room where you can chat with people so multiple people can be invited to it and you can chat one with one another that's very basic that's like a channel in discord then you have voice channels where you can 
of course, call with one another, which you can talk. And that's also like Skype, Discord. I will call Discord because I can I know Discord best. But there are more services that actually give you the option, like Zoom, Teams, and uh, Skype, for example. And then we have houses. A house houses chat rooms and voice channels if you decide to make one. So you can view that more like a server like in Discord. So a house is a server, then you have chat rooms with channels and voice channels which are voice channels in Discord as well. You can create those and you can invite people using filtration through uh, different games or just through purple profiles. I will put up a image somewhere on the screen where it will show it or maybe I will just give it a b-roll to show you what it looks like on the post itself and how it might work. The stream feature in purple will be called purple life. Here you can share and stream any of your screens or applications plus your microphone on the stream. So you can use voiceovers and you can share any, sc uh, any screen you have open at the moment or any app you have open at the moment, but you cannot use a webcam apparently. That's uh, not mentioned in the post, so I think you cannot use a webcam. So it's just going to be very basic, very bare, bare bones, just a stream of the game or screen you have open right now and then with your voice, which you can do also in Discord without any overlay but you can use your webcam at the same time uh, which is separate and not overlaid so that's different in discord but it's not that different and honestly if you want to stream very basic stuff then this is actually more than enough like you want to show something like where you can find a specific boss items uh what you have to do you can show it to people in your clan or uh friend list etc so i think that's a good idea to have this in in the launcher it's very useful to have for casuals and hardcore players when going live you can select a specific chat room or house to stream to so when you stream to a house you can pick what channel you want your notification to appear on for those who are in your house to see that you're going live if there are multiple streams going live the notification will all appear in the same channel so when I go live and someone else in the same house will go live, the notification will appear in the same channel. You also get the option to have a shareable URL, which you can share with friends, family, anyone really, as long as they have a purple account. Because when they click on that link, they have to log in into the purple account to actually watch the stream. I don't know if you can send messages in the stream itself, I think it's not going to be like uh, what Discord has when you uh, share a screen, you have a uh, chat in the call built in, but you will be able to send messages at least in the house if you are in the house or chat room. If you are in the chat room, otherwise, I don't think you can send messages, but you can watch the stream. But I'm not sure about that, I could be wrong. Last but not least, the launch update. So, with the launch update, there's going to be a few changes. For example, the AGM coin. The home moon coin for those uh, we don't know what it actually stands for the ratio will be increased by 1.25 so the home moon coin will be increased by 25 percent but item prices will also increase by 25 percent so it's going to stay the same as it is right now but the value numbers will be just higher that's it the home moon coins received through premium membership will also increase by 25%, so that's going to stay say the same as it is right now, but just the numbers are going to be higher. The venture token is going to change as well, with the 25% increase of uh, home moon coins. So the venture token, the regular one, is going to increase from 85 to 106, which actually should be 106.25, but it's an odd number, so they actually scaled it down so if you have multiple venture tokens the value will be a little less than it actually is you're losing 0.25 for every venture token you have but the brilliant venture token and sparkling venture token they will retain the same value so the brilliant venture token will increase from 180 to 225 and the sparkling venture token will increase from 500 to 625 so those two will stay exactly the same 
the Avenger token will be just slightly less wor uh, worth it. But if you have uh, four Avenger tokens, you will lose one end coin. Unclaimed daily dash rewards prior to 2019 will be deleted. So if you have those uh, daily dash items, get it right now, retrieve it. Or if you don't care about it, then just leave it in your mail and it will be removed. For the Portuguese players, it's a sad time because Portuguese is going to be removed from the game. So it only supports English and German, as far as I know. So with that said, I hope you liked this video, this style of video. More scripted, uh, hopefully better in quality and more straight to the point than I usually am. I want to be more straight to the point uh, on my videos when I make these kind of videos, so um, I hope I did it well. But with that being said, um, play the soul. I've been playing it less and less nowadays. I'm just, for some reason, not really enjoying playing it that much anymore. And I want to branch out to different kind of games because I feel this YouTube channel is very locked in into Blade of Soul and I, I notice it with my views as well. But when I make a Blade of Soul video, I get better views than when I make a Tekken video or any other game or any other kind of content. And I do want to branch out a little bit more to Tekken, of course, which is my second favorite game to play. And potentially Wuthering Waves, which is going to release this year. And I've been excited for the game for a while now, for maybe two years but I haven't really been talking too much on, uh, about the game because I was just waiting to get access to a beta I tried to get in both betas didn't get access so uh, unfortunate right now this is the second uh, CBT and it should be the last one and then it might launch in about two to three months from now until October so, somewhere between there, the game might launch. And I'm very excited to play the game. And I hope to be able to make some videos on that game. Or a lot of videos. I might switch to the game completely. If I'm done with playing the soul. Which I probably will not be. Because, face it, I've been playing this game for so long. I will keep playing. Just not that much anymore. Unless Blaze on Neo Classic is going to be really, really good. Then I might play it a lot again. But for now... For the foreseeable future, I might not play that much. But yeah, that's that. Hope you liked this video and see you next one. Peace guys.